Hi there, welcome to The Untidy Artist. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fold over hat pin flower that you can, um, today we're gonna put it on a headband but you can really put it on a clip or anything you'd like. So here's the materials you'll need. And a glue gun, make sure that you set the glue gun on low. It's just much easier to work with that glue and it won't burn you. So cut your ribbon at an angle, tie it in a knot at the end, that's gonna be the center of your flower. Figure out what side is the top side of your ribbon and you want it to go with the grain of the ribbon. So when you fold it over, it should fold over nicely with the way that the ribbon was woven. Put a couple glad dabs of glue down and you're going to fold over, keeping that top side up. So every time you fold over, you want to make a nice, fold it in an angle and keep the top side of the ribbon up. You can see that when I fold it over there, I'm always keeping the same side of the ribbon up. And we're just folding around that center knot. That'll give us the center of our flower there. Once you've got that done, you're going to add a few more dabs of glue and keep folding. Now you can make the flower obviously as big as you'd like. Um, sometimes I like to do smaller rosettes, sometimes I like the bigger flowers. Just when it gets to the side that you like and that you're happy with, um, you can finish it up. So just keep folding, always keeping that top side up. Also you can really use any kind of ribbon with this. I really like using the Dupioni silk. I love the raw edges on it. Um, it's just really beautiful. But I've done this with satin. I've done this with strips of fabric. Um, I've even used satin ribbon off of gifts I've gotten. Um, I pretty much recycle everything. When you're done, you're gonna cut it at an angle there. You're gonna take some glue and just dab it on the end and tuck that under. And then you're going to do the same for the other end of the rose, the other end of the ribbon that you started with. Just tuck that under nicely. And there's your rose. Now we're going to finish it off by putting some felt on the back. So I just line it up with my felt and cut a square around it and then I kind of use that to gauge the size. Cut it into a circle if you need to trim a little more off, totally fine. Once you've got that done, you're going to line the back with some glue and place it on the back of your flower. Making sure you get those edges nice and tucked under. That's going to keep it in place and just make it more sturdy for whatever you attach it to. Then because we're putting on a headband, I cut another circle of felt the same size as the first one. Figure out where you want it on your headband. I take a little dab of glue, put it on the back of the flower. Stick my headband down, I let that set for just a second to hold it in place. And then you're going to glue the back of the felt for the second piece and just put it over the headband, giving you a nice professional finished look on the back of the headband. And there you go. You can also, as you see here, do it on clips, not just headbands. And here is my hat pin trio that we've put on a clip. Check it out on one of my other videos. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. If you liked what you, you saw today, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time.